Praise God, praise God. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day, a blessed morning. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I, I look a little different. I'm fresh out the shower, you know, hit the, you know, you know, when you're going through. So, and that's the whole thing you're going through. But I'm on one this morning. Been on one since midnight last night. I did a video and, you know, I couldn't really talk through. I wanted to talk because, you know, people were sleeping. Y'all know what time it is. So, anywho. God said, well, you have to get up and get yourself prepared and you have to do what you have to do this morning. So I was like, okay, I, I want y'all to just understand God is never trying to take anything from you. God is trying to get something to you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You didn't hear what I just said. I don't care what you go through. It could be a test. That's your testimony. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And let me tell you something. This is the season for open heaven. Ooh, I'm so full. You could always tell when I'm full because I try to, uh, I'm almost overflowing. Thank you, Lord. Let me slow it down. Thus said the Lord, this is the Joshua generation. Stand up and possess the land. You don't hear what I just said. I know what they're doing. I understand what they did. But let me tell you what God said. The church came in power and we leave in power. You didn't hear what I just said. That means there must be a transfer of wealth. That means there must be a transfer of power like never before. Why do you think the enemy hit him so hard? He has but a time window. You didn't hear what I just said. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Y'all better get what I said to get this morning. Because let me tell you something. When the power of the anointing is flowing like this, you better ask God for healing. You better ask God for deliverance. You better ask God for what you need. Because this is open season. This ain't no con. This ain't no game. One thing I do, I always confirm his word. So I was wild. I was, you know, taking my bath or whatever the case may be. I say, God, this is real. Because I don't ever want to be seen as a false prophet or a money prophet or a lying prophet. You didn't hear what I just said. Hallelujah. When the minds get big, that's power of God. Hallelujah. God said, Deanna, this is real. And I knew it was real when I was sick. Because when I was sick, I was still taking care of business on the, on the backside. Oh, come on, somebody. I am so excited. I can't tell y'all something because it's almost in fruition, But it's almost done. Let me tell you how I know there's an open heaven. Because when I was going through, God made me do something. I said, oh, God. I said, this is, wait a minute, wait a minute. This a 20, 30 year old dream you told me long time ago. <laughs> Let me tell you something, saints of God. If God said it, it should surely come to pass. I don't care who don't like you. I don't care who try to stop you. I don't care what they say. I don't care what the powers to be. You didn't hear what I just said. Y'all got to know who God is in this season. And God told me to tell you, is there anything, Jeremiah 30, 32, 27. Is there anything too hard for the Lord thy God? He said, no, there is not. He said, I am Lord God of all flesh. Hallelujah. So let me slow it down so I could tell you what's going on. So I, I woke up. No, I didn't woke up. I, I, I wasn't sleeping. At 12 o'clock last night, he said, I want you to do it again. And I ain't going to lie, y'all. I, I feel kind of, you know, you know how you feel weird. Sometimes you have to, they feel like you have to explain yourself. But I'm starting to understand when it's really God, you ain't got to explain yourself. The ones get it, get it. The ones that don't, God bless you, hallelujah, need to get it. Because you need something too. Truth be told, we all need something. So, th but there is instructions and obedience. And I don't care what y'all say. This is the year you got to sow your way through. I have been doing it. Don't know how. You didn't hear what I said. God, haven't you told me to do this, this, this? And it seems like every time he tells me to do something, he tells me to do something that actually I can't do or I think I can't do. I'm like, God, if I do this, I can be able to do that. And I am telling you, I'm a living witness since January of this year when I started this. God has been blessing me whenever I am obedient. And I'm talking about it's been some hard stuff like I can't, I can't go there because some things, you know, you just can't do. Because, you know, especially if you're blessing other people. Keep that between you and God, by the way. If God tell you to bless other people, keep it between you and God. Don't be telling everybody so you can act like you're getting clouded or whatever the case may be. So let me stick to the subject. It's still an open heaven. It's going to be an open heaven all year long for the obedient ones, for the ones that follow instructions, for the ones that believe the prophet. I don't care what you say. I don't. You don't hear what I just said. Hallelujah. So let me go ahead and uh, I got to get my Bible, y'all, because I got to do this thing the way God told me to do it. All right. So, yes. I did it at 12 o'clock last night. I think it was on YouTube. So it looked like they're trying to um, stop my live. So said God said, do it again. I said, God, would do it again. It's not so much. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm about to go here, Lord. I'm about to go. $22 is not going to make me a millionaire. $222 is not going to make me a millionaire. Now, if a millionaire, y'all did it, it make me a millionaire. Who you didn't hear what I just said. God trying to get something to you. And he's using this prophet to do it. Hey, I ain't never been here this, this way myself. But guess what? I see what he's doing. Because of what? I, I can't tell y'all, but it, it's, oh, it's done. It's done. It's done. But I still can't release it. 
I'm the proud owner of a company that I spoke almost 30 years ago. Play, not playing, but dreaming. And it's done. Hallelujah! It's done and it wasn't shelfing, baby. It was something, it's ministry. And I was like, did he just do what I think he did? Yes, he did. I told y'all it was real. I told y'all. And I don't know how I did it. I, I, it had to be God. That's all I could say. But let, let me stay on track. So I'm going to put my cash out. And I'm going to be obedient. And I don't care who talk about me. Whatever. Talk about me all the way to, to when God doing what he doing. Thank you. I, I mean, I ain't never been felt like this before. You know, because, you know, when you are truly growing into God, you do worry about what people say. Because you don't want to be like them. Don't I like you don't know who them is? Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm trying to fix my hair because it's wet. And I don't want to be looking all kind of way. But anyway, I, I got to stay, stay focused. So Joshua, I'm in the book of Joshua. And I got to start reading, y'all. It says, now... After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord. That's why I've been putting servant of the Lord. That's what we're supposed to be. Not stars, but servants. Not sinners, but servants. Okay. Came to Joshua, the son of Nun. Moses minister saying, Moses, my servant is dead. One day. That's why we got to prepare the next generation or the next person to take our place. One day we're going to die. So, some, I'm sorry. So like my mentor, Dr. Miles Morose, hope you die empty. Pray you die empty. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise. Hallelujah. Go over this Jordan, thou and all this people. Mm. Wait a minute. I got to move this Bible over here. I got I to do this thing right, y'all. Don't you know that God is not just trying to get something to just one person? But he say, therefore, go arise over this Jordan, thou and all this people. When God bless, it's not just for, it's not, it's not just for you. I'm going to tell you right now, too. Don't think it's just for you to floss and get a big house, get a big car. It is for you to have to be a blessing. I'm learning stuff too. I'm going to be real. We're learning together how the kingdom of God truly works. Not how, how they taught us. Not what we think, but how it truly works. So anyway, let me continue. He says, until the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Okay, verse 3. Every place that the sole of your feet should tread upon, that have I given you as I've given unto Moses. Don't you know everywhere you live, that's what you're supposed to do, possess the land? I know these people feel like they're running it. And guess what? They are the, the gods of this world, the little gods. But let me finish the story. Hallelujah. Verse 4 says, From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even into the great river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites and into the great sea toward the going down of the sun should be your coast. Let me continue. Verse 5. There should not be any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. That promise is for you and I also. There should not be any man, and he mean woman too. And what I'm saying is, this is what God told me. He says, as long as you're an obedient, and as long as, as you shooting integrity and honor and doing the right thing, I'll be with you, and nobody can stop you. Hallelujah! That's for you too. That's for you too. Come on, somebody. Quit thinking that people can stop you because they don't like you, and you're trying to connect to this one, and you're trying to do this one, and you're trying to do that. The devil is a lie. Just do what God say to do, and I'm a witness of that. Let me tell you something. I, God's been asking me to do some very uncomfortable things all year. Well, I'm acting like it's all year, but y'all know what I mean. Since January the 1st. And I've been like, kind of hesitant, worrying about what people think a little bit. I ain't going to lie. Then all of a sudden, something hit me like, I can't, no, I'm not going to be like Saul, worrying about what the people. I'm going to do everything God say, and you just watch me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me continue. Verse 6. I'm in the book of Joshua. Joshua generation. That's who we are. Come on, somebody. He says, be strong and of good courage. And all these people should die, should divide an inheritance into the land, which I swear unto thy fathers to give thee. Okay, then he says it again. It's, anytime you see God repeating his word, it's a word for real. Not that it wasn't, but it's a word for real, honey. Let me continue. Verse 7, he says, Only be thy strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all in the law, which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou may prosper whatever so thy goest. You got to be obedient. You can't do what you want to do. You can't do what you think to do. You can't do what others say to do. You got to be obedient to the Lord thy God. If he say hop on one leg, you better hop, hop <laughs> up in here. All right. Verse 8. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 says, 
This book of the law, you need to understand that the Bible is the law. I don't care what the law of the land says. Now, he does say obey the law of the land. But he says, obey this book first. He said, this book of the law should not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate in it day and night. You want to know what's going on? Are you meditating in this book day and night? I'm not saying you got to do stuff 24 seven because you're human. You got to work. You got to do this. You got to do that. But how are you going to know what to do? Oh, let me, let me do correct English. How are you going to accomplish what you're supposed to do if you don't hear instructions? And have wisdom and discernment because the enemy will try to lie to you and help you try to make you do against what God have called you to do. Oh, come on, somebody hop up in here, up in here. All right, so let me continue. It says, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Then thou should make thy way prosperous. That lets me know I'm going to help opposition. If I got to make my way prosperous, that means I'm going to have people trying to, you know. But he says, and then thou should have good success. So do all that is written. I'm going to read that one again. Excuse me. Excuse me. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Verse 8. That thou should meditate in their day and night. That thou mayest observe to do all that is written. Then thou should make thy way successful. Verse 9. Have I not commanded thee? That's a commandment. Have I not commanded you to be strong and of good courage? Be neither afraid. That's all you fear, people. Since COVID came, I'm not saying it's not real. Apparently, I said it was man-made, period, in the story. But you can say what you want. I remember one of the first things that happened was when I was laying in that bed. And I'm not going to lie. You feel pain in your body. I'm not going to lie about nothing now. But fear tried to overcome me. And I, I, I just thank God for having a strong mind. Through God, through wisdom of God, through the discernment of God, through the anointing of God, through the presence of God. I was like, the devil is alive. And I'm, I'm just going to go ahead. I, I'm going all the way. I ain't, got, I ain't got nothing to lose. Hallelujah. God already showed me my death. It's not my time. I got a few more years, baby. Hallelujah. To do some damage up in here, up in here. So I already knew that wasn't real. Devil, you lying, talking about you lying, you lying. That's the, that's the first thing. But but guess what? And I'm not trying to brag and say this. When you are a true child of God, God will show you. Now, he don't know, now you won't know the day and the time and the hour. Don't get that twisted. All right? I'm not lying. No, no, I ain't saying all that. But I do know I have, a, I have some time. So that was a lie. But you got to know God in order to know that that's a lie. Because the enemy comes to what? Still kill, destroy, and he's the father of lies. Yeah, the first thing when I got there tried to tell me, blah, blah. I said it. I'm like, I know you lying now. I know you lying. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me continue. I'm still a little under the weather, y'all, but y'all know I'm a soldier. So anyway, let's continue. So chapter 1, verse 10, it says, Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people. Don't you know that God has sent, uh, put somebody in a position to where you got you got to hear so you can understand what's going on? You can tell the power of God. I'm, I'm, I feel heat, y'all. I'm sweating and stuff, but don't worry about it. Verse 11. Pass through the host and command thee the people, saying, Prepare your victuals. For within three days you shall pass over this jar to go and to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you to possess. Saints of God, it is time to possess the land. How do you possess the land, prophetess? By fasting and praying and being obedient. If God say, go here, go here. If God say, say this, say this. If it don't matter. Hallelujah. Who like you, who don't, who believe you, who won't. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it again. Hallelujah. Verse 12. And to the Reubenites and to the Ganites and to half of the tribe of Manasseh spake, Joshua saying, remember the word, the what Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you. The Lord your God had given you rest and had given you the land. Understand what I just said. Don't you understand what open heaven means? Some of y'all worrying when all you got to do is get that thing to God. I'm telling you the truth before God this morning. I ain't lying. I, I'm not a liar. I'm sorry. I don't. I, I get caught because I talk too much. You know, prophets be talking. Not that we trying to, but we just tell it what it is. Hmm. Who figured? So anywho, he says, remember the word Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you saying the Lord your God had given you rest and had given you land. Verse 14, your wives, your little ones, your cattle should remain in the land which Moses gave you on the South Jordan. But you should pass your brethren and armed. Mm, hold on. But you should pass your brethren armed. Are you armed? Where are your weapons of warfare? And, and hold on. I'm not talking about physical weapons. If you think that, then you are already gone. I'm talking about those that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth. Honey, you have to have your spiritual arsenals ready. 
That's why I stay prepared. You can call me what you want. You can say what you want. I stay ready, even under attack. I might, I might have been going through stuff in my body, but I promise you, I was praying in my spirit. I said, okay, God, well, it's something you want me to know. It's something, and, and pff, COVID mental. I believe it's a psychological demonic warfare that they made. I believe that when they give you them tests, that something is on those Q-tips. I don't care who don't believe me. Ask God. <laughs> Ask me how I know. They think they slick. <laughs> hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I know I went to the left, but I'm coming back right. Hallelujah. You know I'm going to say what God said. I ain't scared of nobody. All right, let's continue. Verse 13, he said, Until the Lord had given your brethren rest, as he has given you rest, and also and have possessed the land. Don't you know why the rival, revival hasn't started all the way? Look how our brothers and sisters are dying out there in the streets. And you say, well, what brothers and sisters? Oh, the ones that are not saved because the church is, 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 is preaching. We're preaching to each other. I don't know how that's working out. Because we're supposed to go to the highways and the byways. Hallelujah. Those that are in sin. And I'm not saying condemn people, but love them back to life. God says the harvest is plenty. The harvest is ripe, but the labels are few. <laughs> I know the mind's big this morning. It is what it is. Let's continue. He says, verse 14. And they answered Joshua saying, all that thou commandest us, we will do. Whether thou send us, we will go. They were ready to do what Joshua asked because Joshua was a leader that was fearless. Because he was, what does warriors do? We go to war. And then you got these other tricks. Well, you, can't, you shouldn't be in warfare all the time. Well, you must don't know your devil. Oh, come on, somebody. You must don't know them demons. You heard what I said, your devil. Because guess what? He ain't my devil. You don't hear what I just said. Because my Bible says that he walking around seeking who he may devour. That means he's always looking, always plotting, always planning. And so you have to stay battle ready. I'm going to say it again. Battle ready. All right, let me continue. I'm almost finished, y'all. Verse 17. According as we has hearkened unto Moses in all things, so we will hearken unto thee. Only the Lord thy God be with thee as he was with Moses. People of God, stop letting fake leaders lead you. If they're not with God, they're not with you. Let me read that one again. Verse 17, Joshua chapter 1. According as we have hearkened unto Moses in all things, so we will hearken unto thee. Only the Lord thy God be with thee as he was with Moses. You want people that's with God for real. That's not trying to play you. That's not trying to fleece the sheep. That's not trying to lie. Because God going to get them anyway. This is the year. You see, I told y'all, and I meant that. Open heaven, double for your trouble. But on the back side of that, people are going to get exposed. I don't care if it was me. You're going to get exposed this year. You playing? Keep on playing. God say, I, I'm, I, I see it. He's, I, I'm, I'm, I'm uncovering everything. I, I'm uncovering everything and everybody. Because God wants his church right. He said that's his church, by the way. Oh, come on, somebody. And last verse, 18 says, Whoever he that be doeth rebel against thy commandments and will not hearken unto the words of all that thou commandest him, he should be put to death, only be strong and of good courage. I love Joshua. Joshua did not play. Let me read that one again for the ones in the back. And then y'all, oh, don't judge them. Don't do Joshua put them to death for not obeying the command. <laughs> Lord, they ain't ready. They, oh, we're we under the old law. Oh, what's the foundation? What is the foundation of any house, anything? The old, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. That's the first foundation, right? They will try to make the phone. I don't know how that phone just tried to slap down my hand. Like somebody slapped it. Let me tell y'all something. Without the foundation, you wouldn't have a ministry. <coughs> Hold on, y'all. The devil is alive. Hold on. Excuse me, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to gross y'all out. But I am at the last stages of everything. So it says, Whoever he be that do it rebel against thy commandment, and will not hearken unto the words and all that thou commanded him, he will be put to death, only be strong and of good courage. I'm going to leave y'all with this. You got to be strong. When I was going through that stuff, I might sound like it was last year, huh? even though it was like two, three days ago. I didn't know what to think. Um... I was kind of mad, like, God, why'd you, why'd you allow them to give me COVID? You heard what I say. Two words God told me, say, ingest it or inject it. I, am, I ain't messing with y'all because some of y'all just don't understand what they're doing. They're trying to induce fear to a level because they know fear casts out faith. I'm going to say it again, fear casts out faith. 
People of God, don't let nobody make you fear anything, not even death itself. Because absent from the body, <laughs> to be present with the Lord, you can say what you want to say. We are spirit first. Never understood why I wasn't afraid of anything. Maybe because I always knew in my spirit, even as a little girl, that God was with me. And, and, and I'm have to, this is another video I'm going to have to do. I can't say what I want to say. It's something about death, but I can't do it. He want me to leave it separate. So I'm probably going to do that separate. But it's powerful. Ooh, I'm telling you, God been telling I got so much information while I was listening. I'm going to say listening. I ain't, gonna, I ain't even going to say the S-I-C-K word no more. While I was listening to the Lord. So God bless you. God keep you. We are the Joshua generation. We're supposed to be strong in the Lord. And yes, you're going to get hit. But I'm going to tell you what God told me while I was listening. He said, Deanna, you're going to lose some rounds. The devil's going to get some rounds. He's going to win some rounds. He said, but as long as he don't win the fight. Let me say that what God told me while I was listening. You're going to lose some rounds. The devil going to win some rounds. But as long as he don't win the fight. Period. in the story. And I don't know about you. We're talking about in the spirit, right? If you got to, whatever you got to do, bite, scratch, kick, you, <laughs> you better win. <laughs> Hallelujah. You didn't hear what I say? <laughs> what? By any means necessary in the spirit. But you can't do that unless you're in your Bible, unless you're fasting, and unless you're praying. And in about a couple of days, we're going to be going on another fast. Nothing is going to, let me tell you something. Even if you get hit. Just keep on going. Even if you fall down, get back up and come back for more. You are a warrior. You serve the one and true living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hallelujah. Stay battle ready, thus saith the Lord. So God bless you. God keep you. I'm going to go ahead and I'll put the cash app and everything. <sighs> Open heaven, man. I, I, I'm telling y'all, I'm experiencing it. I think for the first time ever. I know for the first time ever. I mean, I've gotten blessed in between here, down there, years, or whatever the case may be, but I've never seen it like this. And I'm not talking about just monetary. I'm talking about, I, I it's so much. Can't tell y'all in just one video. Not, not going to try to convince you. You better catch that in the spirit. Hallelujah. Because some people, I know how the enemy think. I know I didn't try to make people think, oh, that's not real. That's, I, I get it, because trust me, you know, we're supposed to have defenses because so much going on these days. You better go in the spirit and see what I'm saying and do what God called you to do. And I'm going to leave y'all with this and because I'm doing it. I'm doing it as I say it. I'm not kidding. Ask the Lord to show you. Sow your way through it. Do what God say to do. And sometimes he'll make you do something that you'll be like, Okay, I'm going to be God, you know I need this money. What are you talking about? Give somebody $3,000. Seriously, do you understand what I'm going through? Do you understand what I'm supposed to be doing? Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying? And you just leap and do it. And then you turn around and do something. And you be like, I'm telling you what I'm living. Hallelujah. End of story. So God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. General Prophetess Deanna Dixon. I thought you knew, devil. What? Back and stronger than ever. <clears throat> I almost want to say na na na, but that'd be like world or something. But y'all not from Louisiana. God bless you. I love y'all.